Okay, so I started a project and I went to Ace Hardware, got some, uh, some framing boards and some one inch shelving boards. So what I ended up buying were one, uh, one board that was one by six by 12, or excuse me, two by six by 12 and cut it in half and then I bought a two by six by eight and cut it into three feet long sections. So now we've got the frame and then I bought a one by six by 12 long board and measured and cut it to specs and each of these are three feet long and then I bought a one by six by eight, cut it to specs. And um, so basically what we've got here is the frame that you see here. And then I'll have these shells that go in. I'll measure them out and get them uh, screwed into place. And then this whole unit is gonna be an open back and then just uh, slide right up against the wall. And with it being six inches wide, that is uh, perfect for uh, cartridge games um, and DVD style cases. So this is the project I've been working on all day. And uh, well, not all day, but past couple hours. Uh, went to the uh, hardware store, picked up the, the lumber, came home, started measuring, started cutting. But hopefully this should be finished uh, before this video comes out on Sunday. And uh, we'll, we'll, get, we'll take a look at it. I do plan on staining this, um, but I'll have to go pick up some stain at a later time, probably sometime this weekend. All right, folks, on to the next. So here is that media shelf that I was working on building. And I've used it for the N64 collection and all of my box games. You see the Super Nintendo and Nintendo box games down on the bottom. But I did not have hardly any room in my game room slash bedroom. So it is literally my new headboard. It is sitting right behind the bed. But that works out. Just uh, hope that none of this falls on me in the middle of the night. Um, this is just a temporary solution until I can figure things out. But, looks good. On to the next.
Okay, YouTube, so not a whole lot of finds this week, but we did find some stuff to add to the collection, and that is always a good thing. We'll start back here in the back. Added these two Genesis tiles to the collection. Uh, Judge Dredd and Revolution featuring Aerosmith. Both of those are complete. Got those for $2 each. Actually, I paid $21 for everything back here in the back row. Rescued the Embassy Mission, Tecmo Super Bowl, WCW Wrestling. All of those were $2 each. Woody Woodpecker, that is a 3D platformer for the PS2 featuring Woody Woodpecker. I grew up on Woody, so yes please. Deadfall Adventures, a 360 exclusive I did not have. Limited Edition Dead Space 2. That completes my Dead Space 2 Collector's Edition uh, box and the gun that's inside. That completes that that Collector's Luck sent me. I found that for $3 complete, as well as Pokemon White version 2. This was $3. I will sell Pokemon White version 2, make all of my money back on that. Found MLB The Show 16 and Prince of Persia Trilogy for $3.60 each. MLB The Show 16 is the last MLB The Show on the PS3. It still sells for over $20. Prince of Persia is right around $12 without the manual, uh, which that doesn't have. So both of those are on eBay for flips. Also picked up MLB The Show 19 on PS4. This was $9 plus tax, and that still sells anywhere between $35 to $40. So that is on eBay. I was ecstatic to find some PS Vita games. I don't care what the title is. If it's PS Vita, I'm picking it up because they're they're almost impossible to find out in the wild. Um, so Lego Ninjago Nindroids, Sly Cooper collection, probably the best title out of the bunch. But the one I'm most excited about is Batman Arkham Origins Blackgate. I've been looking for this game for a while uh, in the wild, and this now completes my Arkham collection. So very happy to find that. Picked all of those up for $5.40 each. Then, these two games were brand new from GameStop for $9.99. We got Sushi Striker, The Way of Sushido, and SNK Heroines Tag Team Frenzy. Now, SNK Heroines was not located at my local GameStop. Uh, my local GameStop was completely out of this title. So, Collector's Luck hit up me and a few others in, in a group that we're a part of on uh, Facebook Messenger and hit a bunch of us YouTubers up and said, hey, if anybody wants this game, there's plenty of copies at my local GameStop. And so we all jumped on it. Me, uh, the Video Game Brothers, Gamers Manuel, a couple of other folks. Um, so thank you, Jordan, for sending this. And then I was able to pick this one up at my local GameStop. Then we have a couple of Blu-rays. And I picked up The Wizard of Oz, 75th Anniversary Edition. If you don't have this movie in your collection, what's wrong with you? Ghostbusters Limited Edition Steelbook for $1.80. Yes, please. Die Hard Collection, the entire collection for $1.80. There's like five discs here. Um, there's three on that side and like two on this side. So every Die Hard movie. Uh, for a dollar eighty still book, yes, please. <laughs> and Predator, the three movie collection. This includes Predator, Predator 2, and Predators. And another dollar eighty still book all day. So there you have it, folks. Hope you've enjoyed the content. If you have, go ahead and hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you receive all notifications. Hope you've had a fantastic week. I know I have. I'm Tata Collector, and have a good one.